Would you kill for your son? Would I? Absolutely. You? Yes. Nice. <laughs>
times. Mm -hmm. uh, that that it's just my personal style is not that. Yeah. Uh, Which is the parts I probably felt were heavy-handed, and, and, and probably the, the the end, some part at the end that I just I for sure. <laughs> I for I sure. I just I hate those style. I, I, I hate. It. I love the message of castrating and murdering rapist. I think it's a great message for the kids. That's a message uh, that should be spread amongst all of them. I agree. I, uh, that's, I love that message in the film. Uh, <laughs> like right when they were like, he looked down and it was like, his dick is missing. I love it. <laughs> So obviously the message outweighs any any critique. And at the end, I was like, I enjoyed that movie. Uh, so I have far more loves than I do critiques of this film. But the, there are some critiques that I will mention later on. Shri Devi is by far the star of this film. Yeah. Um, she, she, I mean, I loved her in English of English. She knocked it out of the freaking park she did. in this one. She, yeah, she brought it. English of English was a really fun rom-com where we got to see a personal vulnerable side. Yeah. This... She had to really tap into some places that were, I could see, and I, man, I wish she was here to talk to. Yeah. I could see she was tapping into, what you have to do for this role, she was tapping into her greatest fear. When she realizes what happened to her daughter and she freaks out, mm -hmm. I saw Sri Devi accessing her greatest fear. If she wasn't accessing it, she was doing a monumental job. Picturing basically if it was her actual daughter. Whatever she needed to do to make it believable, I believe that that woman was feeling what she was feeling about her girl having been yeah. raped. Also, can Sri Devi get a daughter who is not an asshole to her? <laughs> I swear, man. It's English, true. English, and, and this. Like... What is. Appreciate Sri Devi. Yeah, she's a sweetheart of a lady. <laughs> She and doesn't you, deserve your attitude. Right when it started, and she started, I was like, she just has shit hits. I, <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with them? Yeah. Uh, but yeah, uh, I totally agree. Uh, what do you think about Sri Devi's performance? Amazing. I just think that the the combination of anger and love is in there, you know, that fueled her to do what she needed to do continually, not just at the end, but continually. How she was driven, you would think just by love for her daughter, that's overseeing everything, but there's a tremendous amount of anger with the system that let her down, yeah. with the injustices in the world, with, yeah. yeah, unfairness. And I think the other thing that hit me really hard was the little detective man, Nawaz. Right? Is this your first Nawaz? Yeah. No, okay. she saw him in English of English. But I had to remind her. Yeah, he didn't Not English of English. Like the lunchbox. Okay. That's another one she saw. He wasn't in English. That's another one she saw. Okay. So gotcha. she's seen six. But uh, yeah. Okay. I had to remind her that that guy. This was a character. Yeah. But anyway, you were saying right? about so, it? No, yeah, so his, his place where he says, you know, when she's asking him to help her. Yeah. Uh, kill them basically yeah. or do them in he's saying well I know what they did which is a wrong but you're asking me to help you do another wrong yep. and two wrongs don't make a right mm -hmm. but there came a place and I think that's really important in life mm -hmm. to figure out where those two wrongs make a right because there was no one else going to set that straight yeah, right. in any other way. Yeah, she right. had no alternative other than to lay down and be victimized by it or stand up and, you know, do yeah. the good stuff. She so I was excited about yeah. that. She straight up, when it was obvious that they were going to be let off, mm. she said, as we're sitting there watching it, she just says out loud, <laughs> she said, are you telling me these guys are going to get away with this? Oh. Yeah. And it was, I, I, I thought, a good move by the director because it shows, like, and they kept mentioning in the film, this is going to happen again and again in our country. Exactly. Because obviously, it's a massive problem around the world, but obviously it's a huge, huge problem in India right now uh, of just, and the system also just letting it, letting it happen. The fact that yeah. she had alcohol in her system and that somehow discredits her entire thing, which infuriated me. Of course. <laughs> well, it's, it's comparable to filmed in a completely different way, and it's a different story the way it's portrayed, but it reminded me of quite a bit of the same subject matter in Pink. You haven't seen that, but you will. Yeah. It's a great film with Topsy Panu and, and Amitabh Bachchan, yeah. and it, it's the same subject matter. And something else that my mom wouldn't be aware of is throughout the two years that we have had exposure to life and stuff in India, uh, it's depicted a lot in TV shows and films. In fact, there's an entire series called Delhi Crime yeah. about the subject matter of gang rape yep. in India. Yep. It's oh, the, the, the statistics from 2018 and 19 are about comparable. And it comes out to 88. These are reported 88 rapes a day mm. in the country. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And That's many cool. of them are graphically... What happened to her is tame. Yeah. compared to some of the things you hear about that are so barbaric 
wow. that happened in, in a gang rape situation. That makes me even want all the more to see the justice brought to the rapists. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, she was she was several times saying, if this doesn't end no, with right. the bad guys getting what they deserve, I'm going to be really angry. <laughs> and then then at the climax, the climax. Oh yeah. She, Debbie's holding the gun. She's screaming to shoot it. Shoot, shoot him! <laughs> shoot him already! What are you doing? What are you waiting for, right? No <laughs> shoot doubt. him! Oh, and as she's aiming, I said, lower, aim lower, lower. Yeah. aim lower. <laughs> oh. But the ending part I was going to refer to, I love, I, I didn't see it coming because I love to be as blinded as possible. I try not to second guess so I can be surprised. But I loved that the trigger that got her to pull the trigger was the daughter saying, Mom. No, I hated it. I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> I, although, I did appreciate the fact that this film, it was not just, it was not her biological daughter. Right. Correct. But a stepdaughter. Right. Which, I come from a family that I have, a, I have a stepmother and a stepfather who I love very, very much and I believe would do this exact same thing for me if, if, if needed. Mm, yeah. um, but... I, I, I like that complexity to that character. Yeah. Um, even though she was an absolute asshole to her. <laughs> but it made for a good a good film. Yeah. I just, I, it's not my favorite See, style of film. <laughs> well, you don't, well, you wouldn't know this definitively yet about Corbin. Corbin, Corbin prefers anarchy and unhappy yeah. endings. Like, I would, I, like, it's fine if she was there, but the fact that she had to say, Mom. <laughs> I love it. I did. It's just. I get it. I get it. There's nothing wrong. It's. It's just. It's not my style. Well, I. I love it because it worked. I had she they done have seen it, her and then done it, and that would have nah. been less heavy-handed. No, because what happened at that point is the girl behind the. She's behind the tree, and she's listening to the conversation that's being said. Oh, I know why. They and did she it. realizes <clears throat> that she has done what a mother would do, and she has the realization while this is going on at the climax of the film that she has really been wrong about her and she is a mom to her. Yeah. Therefore, when she steps out, she looks at her and before she says, mom, she gives her like the nod of you've gone this far, take it all the way. And the, I just, I, what do you think? Well, he didn't like it, I yeah, loved it. Because she think? was shaking her head yes at her as well. Before it came out of her mouth, mm -hmm. she was, they had eye contact and she was like, you know, the yes nod. But when the word comes out of her mouth, for me, it's, um, it may be melodramatic to some people, but in essence, there are words that trigger us. And I think that's a word that when that was said to her, it mustered up in that woman everything she needed to do to pull the trigger because no one wants to kill someone right. unless you're evil, I think. Right, right, right. So there comes a place that that decision may never have been made if that young girl didn't speak that to her. Um, there was something about that that was powerful that enabled her to cross the line. Oh, and oh I knew something. exactly why yeah. she did it and why yeah. the filmmakers did it. Yeah. I just, I preferred less heavy handedness and in my film. Yeah. She didn't just yeah. pull the trigger. When she heard she mom, unloaded she the clip. unloaded the clip. <laughs> oh, I loved it. I was like, because she used what? The police officer's gun, right? Yeah. yeah. He handed it to I her. I was like, you're going to have to explain why you unloaded the clip oh, in this guy. That's the other thing. The cop was really not on her side throughout the whole thing. He was trying to nail her for the murders, Until right? He was trying to nail her? Yes. <laughs> not that way, Corbin. It's too much whiskey. Whiskey. He's a. Uh, he, his name is a uh, Akshay Khanna. Akshay Khanna. We've seen him many times. He's a great actor. Great actor. Oh he, my gosh. He, I thought he did a very good job. Very in, solid in, job. Because when film. he said, "Take this gun and don't use that gun," I realized in that moment what he was doing was, is allowing her to do what he knew she needed to do it, as yeah, a mother. The bullet needed to come out of his gun, wow. yeah, so the story could be, <laughs> "I shot him." Yeah. And. I thought... I'm pretty sure in America you'd have to explain why you unloaded your clip. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> that, that, the strain of Kudrilli, I was like, uh, oh, cops sure are going to wonder why you unloaded your clip in him, sir. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But, and I also loved it, that I loved the way it was shot and I loved the way the actress was portrayed and it could, it was, it's very, very fragile what was done at the end. It could have broken and not looked right or been right. Mm -hmm. But the mm -hmm. moment where they have together where they hug each other and she says, I love you to her and yep. they're touching each other's face and they're kissing was a very believable moment. If that was, if that was an acting exercise and I'm watching the two actresses work that scene, there's so much that could go wrong mm -hmm. where they're not accessing real emotion, they're uncomfortable being that close to each other mm -hmm. and I felt like these two ladies were great. Shri Devi, when she obviously mm -hmm. lost it, 
obviously Multiple understandably times. so yeah. obviously as a mother who knows her son or daughter just got raped uh, and all that, but like she lost it multiple times, but she did a phenomenal job. And I've seen many actresses do a terrible job because that's such a hard thing to try to bring out because it's it's something you don't want to imagine would ever happen to you. Wow. And so like the fact that like if, if you're an actress and you're 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 doing this, but you don't actually bring what you need to bring to show the actual pain of a mother. She she just she impressed me throughout me the film. Like I thought she was a good actress. I, like she did a great job great in this job. film. Great job. Shut your great job. The, then there's the daughter who, yeah, if the you've daughter ever really experienced, well. who experiences getting gang raped. Correct. And she is bringing forth exactly. I mean, I felt it. You know, yeah. when she has that scene in the bedroom where yes. she starts screaming just and the screaming father tries it. to, or she's scratching her skin and, and trying to get it everything off soul. her, right? Because you know the mom wants to be there to help yeah. and to comfort, but... And at the same time, you understand the trauma of the girl. So yeah. it's just one of those broken moments. Yeah. And I also I also want to say that the, the, the man who, who played the dad, oh. not only was it well-written, because what you needed in the husband is you needed a loving husband who was also a strong man, but not of definitive alpha male because he needed to be a little bit subdued back because the mom needed to be the one to take the vengeance. Is it, he related to Nawaz? I don't know. His I saw the name. Siddiqui. I know it's Siddiqui. It could just be a common name. Interesting. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I, I thought he did a good job. And I felt it was written well Excellent. because you needed that balance of him. He can't be just a pushover. Yeah. That would be annoying. And if he's too much, you expect him to be the vigilante. Yeah. I did not <laughs> like the fact that he lived. I actually was happy with the fact that I was like, I was surprised. It was like, they just shot the dad. Yeah, I know. But then they said he's in the hospital and he's fine. I'm like, that he was shot point blank. I agree. Uh, and so I, I, that, that, that was, I was like, oh, bit. you didn't have to do that. <laughs> yeah. We were fine though. And he was dead. I mean, it was, it was a good send off. Yeah. He was trying to protect his daughter. Yeah. Uh, you didn't, uh, he yeah. was shot point blank. It's hard to miss at that. <laughs> That juncture. They saved well, the storyline. Yeah, right? yeah. yeah. Uh, but uh, Nawaz, I want to talk about Nawaz. Nawaz, probably my favorite actor, arguably in in, 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 my, in, in general. In general, he put on a character in this one. Something I hadn't really. I mean, you've seen him do different stuff, but he put on a character. Yeah, the last time he became something would be Raman Raga 2.0, where yeah. he was completely. He other. he had a wig. I'm pretty sure he had teeth. dentures. The detective. Yeah. The yeah. Detec yeah. That's crazy wild. Yeah, yeah. yeah. His uh, he's a brilliant actor. He, he's, he's Gary Oldman. Yeah, at like level. He's he's incredible. Incredible. Um, and I thought he did. I love that he, he went on a stretch here. Yeah. I love when actors take that chance. Yeah. And I, obviously, he knocked it out of the park. Did you notice where he was taking pictures of the bats? Sorry, hold on. When he was taking pictures of the bats down at the bottom of those steps. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We, we've been there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and also, we saw our uh, friend that we interviewed from White Tiger. Yes, which of course. Um, I'm sorry. Guara. Um, Ad Adar Kwara. Oh, uh, we've okay. interviewed him. Wow. He's a great actor. Very, I thought very he did a actor. very good job in this. He was well. one of the rapists. Yeah. Right. I um, the face. Yeah. 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 He, right when I saw him, I was like, oh, there's. That's exciting. But he was he was in a film called The White Tiger that came out this year that was um, produced by Priyanka Chopra, among other people. And it, he was nominated for a BAFTA, the, the British equivalent British of the Oscars. Oscars. Yeah. And we got to interview him. We had a chance to talk to him and obviously hadn't seen Mom, but we knew he had worked with Sri Devi. Yeah. Uh, and so ultimately, yeah, very good, very good yeah, film. I, I, I liked the fact that it's, it's, it's hard to watch rape films, obviously, but when they get the justice that they deserve. Correct. It's cool. Castration and mm -hmm. murder. Correct. Uh, it's, it's, it's much more enjoyable that way. There's aspects to the film that I would have done differently as a director. Mm -hmm. Like the whole court scene, I didn't enjoy. Me too. I, that was like, I was like, why when it was going on, I was like, I, I do not like what they're doing right now. Because it, it seemed very melodramatic. It seemed very like cliche. Yeah, there was, for example, there was a moment when the dad shouted out in the courtroom and I didn't feel like it happened organically because the dad was shouting out. I felt like it was because we need the scene to raise the tension in this moment of yeah. the film. Mm -hmm. And that just, it, it doesn't, it doesn't strike with the purity of in the moment believability. Yeah. That was definitely my least favorite part of the film. Yeah. Um, but I thought it, it, it definitely 
it had a lot more good than it did Absolutely bad does. in this film. Absolutely um, does. And just, I, I think it was in the hands of, of I, I think this director's kind of new. Don't know. Yeah, two yeah. films. Two films. Uh, two films, this was their first. Wow. This is their first really? film. Yes. Wow. Uh, so I thought they did a very good job for their first wow. film, but I felt you could see some of the, uh-huh. the, the, the newness of a, a new director yeah. uh, in, in some parts. But uh, overall, I thought the film, uh, Sri Devi, she's by I far the, the greatest part of this film. Yeah, and it makes me, like, watching it the whole time, it's just, you know, she passed away like a year before the channel so, became... Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> really? Yeah, she, yeah, the channel started in the fall of 2018. She passed away in the uh, January or February of 2018. Yeah. So we never got a chance to even have the opportunity to interview her. She was incredibly young, gone too soon. 50-something, I think. And yeah. something we know about her that you don't know is she can do everything. She can do Lucille Ball comedy. Mm. She can do mm. Debbie Reynolds dance numbers. <laughs> Wow. She can be sexy. She can be dorky. She's played a two-year-old mentality child person. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, she's she's considered that. by pretty much everybody in Indian cinema and the international film community as being one of the most talented women to ever be in cinema. Yeah, she was great. Yeah, and uh, I'm I'm sad we're just we're just getting to it. This is our second film, but we want to watch a lot more of her. So please let us know what the next we have. I'm hoping it's a classic. I would like to watch one of her, yeah, uh, her great Indian classics. So let us know down below what should be the next film of hers we watch, and what should be the next film we have uh, Rick's Yay. mom watch. Six yeah. for six, because I just realized all the films that she's seen. It's Mom, Lunchbox, Gully Boy, Baji Ramastani. English, Vinglish, and Badla, Loved and them. every one of them she's liked. So Loved. six for six. Loved them. How hot oh. is Ranveer? Which one is that? Tell me who it is. Which one she's seen? Baji Ramastani. He's the main guy. He's in the Baji main Ramastani. guy in Baji Ramastani. Oh, He's wow. hot, right? Mm. Yeah, I agree. <laughs>